Should you buy a home in Austin this spring or should you wait for prices to continue to drop? That's a question I just got asked this week by a client who told me, hey, I know Austin home values are still going down, so when do you think we'll finally be at the bottom where it's a good time to make a purchase? Now, I was a little confused by that, but there's news articles like this one that makes it sound like the Austin market is still in the process of cooling down. So in this market minute, I'm going to show you what we are actually seeing right now so that way you can make the most educated, informed decision if you're going to buy in 2024. So if you're thinking about buying a home in Austin, it is very important that you understand that we have a very seasonal market here. So usually we hit the bottom of the market each year in January, that's the lowest that the prices are. And then from March to June, we start to see prices go up. Some years they can go up as much as 10% or more from January up to June, July. At the midpoint of the summer, we then start to see the market taper off, things slow down. It has to do with the start of school season, and then we get into holiday months. And so that's how the market usually is. It goes up and down a little bit. So this year, we only have two months worth of stats, but I can tell you we are following that same pattern. So if you look at Travis County, you can see that the price, median sales price went up from January to February. It's about 500,000 right now. City of Austin, the prices are a little bit higher there, but same upward trend. So this would indicate that prices are not going down right now, they are going up. And they're gonna to continue to go up just like always through the summer. Now this fall, we may have a stronger market than we normally see because the Fed has also said that they plan to cut rates three times this year. Has not happened yet. But if they stick to what they're saying, that means that interest rates will likely be a little bit lower in the fall and winter, which could make it more affordable for buyers to enter the market. So we may see an increase in prices, or not, not an increase necessarily, but less of a decline than we would normally see if rates are more affordable. So then why do we see the news headlines about Austin cooling off? Well, it depends on what you compare it to. We were the hottest city in America for a couple years in a row. We had some of the highest levels of appreciation. So compared to where we were back in 2021, spring of 2022, we definitely feel a lot colder. Our prices are still way down from where they were at the peak of the market in 2022. But our market is now back to kind of a seasonal cycle with some appreciation happening each year. Now, something to note is that it does take a while for homes to sell because we have a lot of inventory. That's actually a really, really good thing for buyers right now. Homes are also selling below list price. Now, as we get into the spring a little bit further and into the summer, these numbers will probably tighten up a little bit. So we'll probably see homes selling a little bit faster and we might see offers coming in a little bit closer to asking price. But you can still negotiate very hard as a buyer in Austin. You get tremendous savings if you're working with new construction, especially the builders are giving out all kinds of incentives, not only off the price, but also towards closing costs and lower interest rates. So there's great opportunities right now in the market. Whether it's the right time now or later really depends on your situation. And also how long do you plan to stay in a home? Buying real estate is always one of the safest investments if you plan to hold the property at least three to five years. Most people live in their homes like eight to nine years. So if you're planning on making a move and staying there for a while, then go ahead and make the move now or whenever it's right for your family. It's hard to time the market to say, okay, this was the perfect month where maybe we saved $5,000 or so. If you're looking at it long-term, that small amount is not going to matter so much. Think of it as I'm going to buy a home I love, I plan on living in it, that's how you're gonna grow and get most wealth and appreciation. As always, every neighborhood around Austin is very different. You already saw there's price differences between Travis County and Austin City and then also Williams and Hayes, every single neighborhood is always different. So if you're focused on a particular part of town and you wanna know how hard it is to buy in there or how hot or cold the market is, ask us for advice and we can definitely share our stats and insights so you can make the best decision possible.